What's up people, Dhanesh here from Learn Guitar Online and today we'll learn how you can create countless of your own guitar licks with the same four notes. You can create licks, melodic phrases, whatever you want to call them. It, and it doesn't have to be just four notes, it can be any number of notes. But I would recommend that you keep it short to begin with so that the exercise is easier to understand and you can implement it right away and start making some gains. Now I had shown you a glimpse of this, how it works in a short lesson earlier. If you haven't checked it, I will link it here. And I've been wanting to do this lesson for a while, but unfortunately I had injured my index finger and it got delayed a bit, but now it's better and we're here. So let's learn this quickly. Before we jump into the lesson, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to me. I'll first teach you how to create these licks or melodic phrases and then I'll show you how you can scale these based upon your own playing level whether you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced player and I would highly recommend that you first learn the ideas and concepts through beginner exercises and once you feel comfortable you can take it to higher levels depending upon your skill. And how is working on this going to help you? It's important to understand that before we directly dive into this. These concepts and ideas, first of all, can be applied to all genres and musical styles. So you can take it to different genres based upon what your preference is. And more importantly, it will help you improve overall on your lead guitar technique quicker. It will also make you become more creative and what you already know you can use it more creatively on the instrument to come up with musical lines without struggling too much. And it will also open many doors for you to solo and improvise freely. At the same time, this will also help you to train your ears so you can become a better musician much faster. Uh, I could go on, the list is endless. There are many other reasons why you should practice this, but most importantly, this would be a lot of fun for you to practice and play. So let's get started. If you are a complete beginner, I would recommend that you pick the four notes from the minor pentatonic scale because that's what everybody gets started with. And for this exercise, for the ease of understanding, we'll use these four notes from the first position of the minor pentatonic scale. Let's take these notes on string number four. You have the fifth fret the seventh fret and on string number three we'll take the same two frets remember that these are just random notes from within a scale you can choose any notes you like as long as they make sense musically and you like them and your goal is not to just learn these licks your goal is to create your own licks using these ideas and concepts that you learn here and the idea is quite simple once you have your four notes, we would play them in different combinations to create licks and variations of the same licks. And you can even take it one step further by varying the rhythms. But for this exercise, for this lesson, we'll keep it simple in the beginning. So we'll play very simple rhythms. So first, let's play the notes in the order that you chose them. And that would be your original lick. So your original lick should sound something like this. Now once you have your original lick, you can create the very first variation by doing something called as inversion. So you will invert the lick, which is you will play the notes backwards. So this was the original lick. This is it played backwards. Now that itself gives you two variations of the same melodic phrase. Now variation number three would be to go back and forth between the notes and this will also give you a triplet kind of feel, a triplet rhythm should sound something like this. And once you have that, you can invert that. Now for the next variation, you will repeat one or more of these notes or a set of adjacent notes. So what do we mean? 
Let's take the first note and repeat it while playing the lick. It should make sound like this. You can do that with other notes from the lick. Third note. Fourth note. Or you can repeat a set of notes, mostly the adjacent ones. So let's repeat the first two notes. It should sound like this. Inverted. You can repeat the inside notes this one and this one or the last two notes and you can play in versions of all these licks or phrases you can play in the reverse order like this now you, you must have already got a feel of what the possibilities are with this kind of exercise so stick with me there are more advanced variations coming up now now the next variation would be to use something called as pedal points. So pedal points are when you keep oscillating between one note and the remaining notes of the phrase. So let's say if you use the first note of the lick as a pedal point, then you can go back and forth between the other notes and this first note. So it, you will come up with phrases like this. second note or the third note or the fourth You'll come up with really cool melodic phrases when you use the concept of pedal points. You can keep experimenting with it. This will also help you work on your rolling technique across strings. You must have seen, you must have observed that when I was going on the same fret on two adjacent strings, I was rolling my fingers to get to those notes. One more variation, very cool, would be to play these notes diagonally. So if you're starting here, you can play this as the next note on the adjacent string then go back here and then move diagonally here. Or the other way around. Or inverted. All these variations would give you countless ideas and remember it's not about the individual licks or phrases, it's about the process of creating them that will make you improve your playing and you can come up with many more ideas, the possibilities are endless. Let me know through the comments if you come up with some of your own cool ideas, I would be really happy to see them and experiment with it myself. I'm sure you must be excited to try out some of these ideas yourself. And here are some tips for you to scale these to more challenging levels. So if you're an intermediate player, then this is what you would be doing. You can stick to the same scale, maybe the same pentatonic scale, but you will pick groups of two notes each, but this time not on adjacent strings. You will be picking them on, you, you will skip some strings. So this will help you train your picking hand with string skipping. So here are some examples. Let's take these two notes. The 5th fret and 7th fret on 3rd string and 5th fret and 8th fret on the 1st string. 
and you can create licks that way. If you are even more advanced, then try the same exercises and techniques with major, minor, harmonic minor or melodic minor scale or you can even try them with their modes and I'll teach you a more creative version of this lesson but slightly more challenging, uh, more interesting definitely in a future video. I hope you had fun learning that and if you do some or all of the exercises you learned here, I promise you that you'll not only have a lot of fun practicing this but you would also improve your soloing, your improvising and your overall lead guitar skills in a short time. You can connect with me on Instagram and Facebook also. The handle is in front of you. And please subscribe and keep learning with me. Dhanesh again from Learn Guitar Online. And I'll see you in the next lesson.